Hello, so I've got a little bit of a, a different video today. Normally I'm working on the um, MG there, um, my um, garage, but today I'm going to be working on my motorbike. It's a Honda C90. Um, there's bits of it there, kind of see at a weird angle. Um, it's got an oil leak, so I assume that means the piston rings need replacing. Um, worn out, it's an old engine, it's an old bike. Um, it happens, um, the spark plug is black from oil. First thing I'm gonna do is get the oil out though, because I don't wanna start taking things off and find oil just kind of pours everywhere. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get the oil out and start taking it apart. Once I get into something, I'll see how it looks. Cool, so I've got oil coming out now, as you can see it's black. Weirdly, that was new oil I put in, and the engine's barely run because I had I just not been able to use it because it just wouldn't stay running. Um, and I think this oil leak is part of that potentially, but at least I want to kind of roll it out as a problem, um, fixing it. Um, so even with the amount of the kind of what the two miles I've put on the engine and a lot of idling. Um, it's already as black as that. That should be a uh, golden colour. But So clearly there's something up. Um, or it's just grubby inside. So yeah, I think even more reason to get the thing open. I'm just going to see what it looks like inside. Okay, so I've got this far. I've got the part of the um, of this bit that sat there off. Um, it's down here. You can see it's kind of black inside. That shouldn't be black like that. There's the valves. Um, so there's definitely oil been getting in. That shouldn't be like that at all. So that needs cleaning up. You can see the spark plug where I've just left it in there. That's all blackened as well. So I'm going to get that sorted out. It's quite heavy. Oh, we'll just leave you there. And then inside the engine, you can see the, the end of the piston should be shiny kind of silvery colour that's black as well. So there's definitely been an oil leak in there. In the gasket, it looks like it's got oil all over the front of it down there. So something's something's definitely been letting oil in, piston rings, I presume. Um, so yeah, let's kind of go deeper and see what comes out. Right, got in a bit further now. This took so long to come off because look at the state of it. Um, just, this, all this brown was there. I think something had got in, like water has got in or something, because it's kind of brown, sludgy rust that's kind of sat there. So I need to do something about that. The actual piston itself, I'm not sure the piston rings are sealing much in or out. They look like they're just flush with the piston. So I think it must be that the, the rings must be worn out. You've got those other two at the top there, but all of them, I assume, need to be doing something. So this was the point. So. It's obviously full of crap, but that's come from, as I've taken it apart, all the mud that's been on it, but it's all coming out and getting cleaned. I'm actually going to um, cover the, I'll get the piston off, cover it in degreaser first to try and clean it as much as I can and try and give it a bit of a scrub. Um, but I'm then going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and see if that just gets rid of the rest of the crap so it's back being shiny again. Hopefully the piston's okay. I don't, I don't know if it's shot, but... I'm going to give it a clean first and see see how it looks. Um, and now I know I need to order some new piston rings. So I'm going to get those and all the other stuff that needs to go in there as well. So, yeah, so I've been a mechanic for a day, feeling pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, mission accomplished.